have a small space that you want to convert into a YouTube studio. You are in luck! We will be showing you how. So today we will be doing two different setups. Both of them will be utilizing a relatively small space in order to set up your recording studio. Okay, so when we're talking about lighting, the first one up is your key light. Your key light is your main light that is busy lighting your subject. It is the primary light source that is being used to light your subject in video and film production. It is typically also the strongest light source that you have on set. Your key light defines the look and feel that you'll be giving with your video. And its position is important because of the shadows that it will be creating. Shadows give dimension and depth to your video. Have your key light too close and you'll be getting overblown highlights on your subject. That's not going to look very well. Have it too far away and it might not work at all. In general, for very cinematic feel, have it about 45 degree angle away from your subject and anything from a meter to two meters away, depending on how strong your light is. Having adequate highlights and shadows will be enhancing your subject's features. And obviously, if you're filming yourself, the subject's you. It is always a good idea to diffuse your light so that it will wrap around the features of your subject rather than having extremely sharp definition between your highlights and your shadows. You can diffuse the light with modifiers like softboxes or even set up a DIY diffusion sheet. Now when it comes to the full light, its main purpose is to soften the contrast between your highlights and your shadows. The full light is not supposed to be creating its own shadows. It provides detail in the darker areas of your scene and thus makes the scene more visually readable and it reduces the harshness that comes with increasing the contrast between your highlights and your shadows. Your full light should be softer and less intense than your key light and it is generally placed on the opposite side of your key light and at a lower intensity. In this case, we have white walls and since I am sitting closer towards the white walls and also the windows, both the wall and the window is functioning as a type of full light, which is bouncing the light from the main key light onto the shadow side of our subject's face. But in general, the fill light's main purpose is actually not to eliminate shadow, but just to smooth out the difference between your highlights and your shadows. Another important thing that will level up your content is by using a hair light. The purpose of the hair light is to separate your subject from the background and to add depth to the image. The hair light highlights the edges of the subject, which adds to the three-dimensional look. The hair light does not have to be extremely noticeable, but having it be there will be adding just a touch more cinematic flair to your video. Especially if your subject is like me, wearing black or dark colors and is similarly colored or even a darker background. Position your hair light above and also to the side of your subject. And you have to be careful and ensure that it's out of the frame. The light should gently be highlighting your subject's hair and shoulders, but there should also not be any glare happening from it onto your camera. 
Now, another thing, motivated lighting is another technique that can enhance your video quality so much. It imitates natural light sources within the scene, like windows or lamps. Its main purpose and function is to help immerse your viewer in your story, to motivate light in a natural way that makes sense to our brains and our eyes. When identifying a natural light source, you will have to simulate it with an artificial light. And you should note the color of the light, the direction that it is coming from, and the way that it interacts with your subject. And you should also keep in mind of the quality of the light of the natural light source. Now we're on to the decor. The decor enhances the visual storytelling of your video. It can set the tone, suggest a specific era or location, it can give insight into your personality or your channel's theme so that your viewer can get a feel of you or about what you want to share on your channel. Whether you're going for a colorful look or monochromatic look, it will be different types of visuals for your set. Choose your decor wisely so that it matches the message that you want to share or the purpose of your channel. Visual elements that are consistent with the message and mood of your video will help the viewer to not get distracted. For adding visual interest and depth, you don't even need to use color. You can start with textures. Keep the background elements simple and clean to avoid any visual confusion. Clutter is not always a good idea as it can distract from the main subject Obviously, be aware of the constraints that you have in your space, such as the size of the space that you're using, your ceiling height, whether or not you can use natural light, so it's availability. And all these things influence your lights, your cameras, if you have more than one, and your decor. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, consider liking or subscribing. Push that button down below, 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 below.